My name is Michaela, and I'm going to show you and tell you the hidden secrets of grooming your northern breed. I received my grooming certification in 2007 from PetSmart. I worked for two PetSmarts in the northwest suburbs of Illinois for a few years. So I know what I'm talking about. To begin, did you hear? There's a misconception of shaving your northern breed or any dog with an undercoat. Shaving your husky or malamute or a dog with any kind of undercoat is hazardous to your dog. It takes simple research to actually view this yourself. When your dog is panting and hot outside, you may think, oh no, we should shave them. It'll make them feel better. But really, their coat is cooling them down. That is a hidden misconception. Their coat is helping them cool down. If you go to your local groomer and say you do shave down your dog, you'll notice there's a waiver that you have to sign. Within that waiver, it's going to say that that local groomer is not responsible for anything that happens to your dog after the shave down, such as death. So as a groomer, I've noticed that grooming huskies or male mutes are extremely difficult. Not only are they funny and they howl their little lungs out, but it's very hard on you. So this is why I bring them to the groomer. But here I am to help you. To groom your husky at home and with yourself, saving a little bit of cash. To begin grooming your husky, malamute, or northern breed, I suggest four very, very, very simple grooming supplies. One, the slicker brush. Throughout this video, you will see why I recommend the slicker brush. You get this at PetSmart, Petco, any local pet store, and it's fairly cheap, I think around $10. Second, is olive oil shampoo for your dog. If you haven't noticed, or if you don't know anything about olive oil, it actually reduces the shedding in your dog. Also, putting olive oil, not the shampoo, <laughs> in their food, about a tablespoon or less than that, that will also help them not shed as much, which, owning a northern breed, we all know how that goes. Third, a grinder. This is a special grinder from Pet Head, and it's for your dogs themselves. This is for their nails. If you don't like cutting their nails at home, this is the cure, and this will also save you money from going to the groomer to get their nails cut. I'll show you in the video how to use this. Dremels, which most of you construction workers probably have, and you can actually use a Dremel on your dog's nails. Finally, I recommend a hair dryer, but if you have a shop vac that blows out hair with a nozzle on it, I recommend that way more than just a hair dryer. That's going to save you so much time on blow drying your dog, which is why I'm showing you this video, because it helps to get out all the Axis undercoat that's coming out when they're blowing their coats. So I'm in the bathroom now, and I'm about to bathe my dog, Roman. And if you notice, I have cotton balls in my hands. Each one of these are going to go in his ears because you never want to keep their ears open when you're bathing them at home. Um, you're only going to cause a vet bill and possibly an infection in their ears if you get water down in their ear canal. So, this is Roman. So the ears are getting covered and they're not going to like it. Unfortunately, they're going to have to deal with it. All right, now I have my olive oil shampoo. I also have puppy shampoo to go on their face, which is tearless. You say get a puppy, start bathing them right away. You want them to get used to grooming. So now that my older husky is three, he can sit there and totally love being groomed. He will lay there and fall asleep. Also, when they're puppies, play with their paws a lot. Rub them around, play with them, pick on them with their paws because when they're older and when they have to get their nails clipped all the time, it's going to help in the process. Now we're going to get to the bathing part. Ready? All right. Now that I bathed him and I gave him about an hour to air dry because it's going to help you in the end with the drying time. I unfortunately only have a hair dryer, but as mentioned earlier, I also recommend a shop vac that has air that blows out. Um, that's going to go a lot faster, especially with the nozzle that you can put on your shop vac. It's going to make the time completely different. 
So I'm going to blow dry him right now and I'm going to show you the process and then I'm going to quit in the middle of it so I can exactly tell you what I am doing. Because this is the big process. This is the process that's going to take out all of the undercoat and it's going to take out every little excess piece of hair. And now it's not going to get all of it, but it's going to get probably about 95% of it. And this is the process that groomers use and now you can do it yourself. So you saw in the past clip that I was blow drying his hair like this as the hair dryer was blowing at his fur. Now this is called fluffing. This is actually the method when fluffing a poodle. That's how they get so poofy and fluffy. But in this aspect, you're actually taking out the hair, which you can see in this clump. This all came out of the brush when I was doing this. It's pulling out all of the undercoat and loose fur. So I'm going to show you with the hair dryer on exactly what I am doing. Now that we have this nicely groomed husky, he is completely dry with most of his loose undercoat taken out from the process I just showed you. Now that we're going to get to the nails. Um, I did recommend the Dremel instead of using the clippers. You have probably seen these many a times before. The reason why I don't recommend these is because people cut a little bit too close to the quick and actually I recommend the Dremel. Because not only are you getting close to the quick, but you're also cutting the nails a lot shorter. I'm going to zoom up closer just so you can see exactly what I'm talking about and exactly how to use the Dremel. As you can see, the quick is the pink and it is right there. You don't want to go past that because you're going to make your dog bleed. On white nails, there's going to be a dot in the middle. It's a pink dot and that's where the quick is. That's when it tells you to stop Dremeling their nails. I'm so I'm going to show you very quickly. I've already done this paw, so I'm going to move on to this one. And there you have it. You can see his claws have been cut short. They've been dremeled to the point where they're not going to be bleeding. A little tip, as you saw him um, nudging his paw back, I didn't let go. Only because when they're pulling their paw back, they're trying to show dominance. They don't like what's going on. So if you keep on holding to his paw, he's going to know that you're dominating over him. And he's going to learn that when this happens, this is what's going to happen. You're going to keep dremeling his paw no matter what. So now that you have really well groomed dogs, don't forget to brush their teeth, clean their ears, and add a little spritz, some puppy cologne. I hope this video helped and hopefully this will help you in the end to groom your dogs money free and maybe hassle free. <laughs>